So when I was 22, I felt like I was on top of the world. On the same day that I graduated college, I got my commission in the United States Marine Corps. In fact, I remember riding around campus on my Kawasaki Vulcan 1500 in my dress blues, feeling like Richard Gere at the end of the movie, an officer and a gentleman. Well, being the smart guy I was, the next day I went and traded in my motorcycle and picked up a new Chevy pickup truck. I drove that truck off the lot, only having to come up with 650 bucks a month at 26% interest. Yeah. I had no understanding of interest rates. And for those of you that don't speak finance, a 26% interest rate is highway robbery. Seriously, I might as well have borrowed money from a loan shark. And to add insult to injury, I was so oblivious to this that I paid on this loan for a year, no problem, until one of my roommates, who was a finance major, saw the bill lying around and was like, are you crazy? You need to renegotiate. So I approached the bank and they wouldn't lower my interest rate. I ended up refinancing the loan at an interest rate well under 10%. But the reality is I was underwater on that vehicle. Now, the story you could say had a happy ending. I ended up doubling down on my payments, paid it off early. And to this day, I still own that truck. Seriously, that truck now is almost 25 years old. And this summer, I had it sanded down and repainted. That being said, I regret being too busy to look at the numbers. I remember not even really looking at the paperwork. I just trusted the guy. I thought he would take care of me. And that had me waste almost $10,000. <laughs> Now, this next one I bet a lot of you guys can relate to, and that's I regret not taking better care of my body. In particular, not learning how to lift weights. And to be fully transparent, this was really bad for me because I was a military man. I was getting paid to actually take care of myself. In fact, it was expected. We had fitness tests. So it was something every lunch break, you were expected to disappear for an hour and go take care of your body. And I identified as a runner. So yes, I would go for jogs and I could do my pull-ups. I could do my crunches. But when it comes down to lifting weights, now nah, I ignored it. I thought, you know, that's not my thing. Here's the thing. I was surrounded by people with tons of knowledge and I wasted the opportunity to be able to gleam some of that knowledge and build up habits which would have served me the rest of my life. Now, of course, it's not too late, but what I'm saying here in this video is I really wish I would have built the habits sooner because now I'm still trying to relearn things. It's difficult. I still want to default to going for a jog when resistance training is such a great way to stay in shape, especially as you age, as you get into your 40s, 50s, and 60s. And speaking of taking care of your body, I regret not learning how to cook healthy meals. Now, when it comes to pasta dishes, when it comes to fried foods, I know tons of recipes. But when it comes to lean, healthy dishes, a menu without sugars, that is difficult for me. Now, what saved me is I'm pretty good at cooking meats and I can just eat raw vegetables. But I really wish I would have learned how to make tons of different salads and focused in on foods that, yes, just have lower carbs and less sugar. And speaking of staying healthy, let's talk about today's sponsor, Ritual. Now, gents, I've been using Ritual's Essentials for Men and I absolutely love how these multivitamins supplement my diet. And gents, let me be clear. I eat relatively healthy, but there are still some gaps in my diet. And that's what I love about Ritual's Essentials for Men is it goes in there and fills those gaps with the right nutrients. Now, there's tons of multivitamins for men out there, but there's a few things about Ritual that sets them apart that I absolutely love. First up, they've got a delayed release capsule design. Basically, what that means is this capsule is meant to dissolve in the small intestine, not the stomach. What that means is that more nutrients are delivered exactly where they need to go. And because these capsules are designed to dissolve later, they can even be taken on an empty stomach. I know for me personally, the habit is when I wake up, I go downstairs and I slam a glass of water. I immediately take two of these and I then slam another glass of water. So plenty of water. But again, I'm not eating any food first thing in the morning, but I am taking my rituals. Next up, let's talk about traceability. What Ritual means by this is transparency with receipts. They don't expect you to take their word as to what's inside and where everything comes from. Instead, they provide proof. In fact, I was reading about the founder, Kat. She apparently had a bad experience with her prenatal vitamins. And she's like, you know what? I want to know where things are coming from, especially if it's going into my body. In addition, Ritual is vegan and sustainable. So gents, if you're ready to start taking better care of your body, if you're ready to fill in the cracks in your diet, nutrients you need delivered when and where you need them, guys, check out Ritual. I'm putting a link down in the description with the best deal on the web. Now, for this next point, I want to be a little bit personal and some of you guys may find this hard to believe, but I was a complete asshole when it came to dating in my early 20s. And I regret, I feel like I wasted so many great opportunities for relationships with nice girls because I treated them like objects. I just went right through. If she was pretty, I went after her. And as soon as I got what I wanted, 
I moved right on. I remember just this beautiful girl, Alicia, and she was the daughter of a gunnery sergeant. Once I was there and I got what I wanted and had my fun, I just moved on. And I remember breaking up with her, was basically just dropping her off at her house and I was playing love song. And it was cruel. Why was I even doing this? I just liked the song. I didn't care how she felt at all. And we all go through this and I'm sure we all treat some people bad and we've done things like this, but I felt I did it more than many and uh, I guess I was rewarded because now I've got, you know, I've got three girls, another girl on the way. This is life. I'm going to have to deal with all the heartaches and all the guys that are going to probably try to do some of the same things to people in my family. Point being, guys, is treat people with respect. I know there's a lot of like out in the manosphere, this stuff about like, you know, women are out to get you. It goes both ways. And hopefully you find somebody, and I'm fortunate enough that I did find somebody that I learned to build a strong relationship with, but I really wish I wouldn't have wasted all those opportunities to learn how to build strong, healthy relationships with women. Now, gents, really quick, need your attention. I want to save you from a big regret. And that regret is not liking this video. Seriously, if you don't smash this like button, you 20 years from now will wake up with cold sweats and say, gosh, if I just liked that video and helped Antonio, seriously, when you engage with these videos, it helps the videos do better. So I appreciate it. And yeah, we, we know to make more videos like this. Next up, I want to talk about wasting two years of my life in flight school chasing somebody else's dream. So here's the thing is I got a flight contract when I entered the Marine Corps and that was really cool and tons of people wanted this. I had good vision. I was in good shape. I was the right size. Everything was aligned except for the fact that I really didn't want to be a pilot. I didn't know what I wanted to do. I just knew that I was going along. This was a great place to be. I was getting paid. I was doing some pretty cool stuff. Enjoyed the basic school, which is basic officer training at six months long. Had a great time, but I didn't really have to do work hard because guess what? I was all of us pilots, we were going to flight school. So it didn't matter how we ranked in the whole system, drove a lot of other people nuts. But I show up to flight school and I realize very quickly, this is not the place for me. There are all these people there that want to be in flight school. And I stuck through it for two years, not because I wanted to be a pilot, but I just simply didn't know what else I wanted to do. And I enjoyed kind of the party scene. I was having a great time, but I wasn't enjoying really what I was there to do. And I wish I would have had the courage to step out of that sooner. What ended up happening is I blew my sinuses out and I had to go in for surgery and they said, okay, well, we can get you back in the flight program after a year of recovery. And I just opted to exit and just go to the infantry. Now, in the big picture of things, all this time I wasted, all these regrets, they actually made me who I am today. So, I can't say that I would go back in time and undo any of this. But there is one thing looking back that I would probably go back and try to undo. And that is being away from my son for the first three years of his life. So, after I left the military, I went and lived in Ukraine for a year. My wife and I were married there and my son was born. And I realized I didn't have any great skills. So, I needed to go back to school, at least I thought. And I got into the University of Texas. I scored pretty high on the GMAT, was able to make up for my horrible grades in undergrad. And I got into this great program, but I realized I'm not going to be making any money. I've got a wife, and a young son and we are going to keep you guys in Ukraine. That was what we decided and I'm going to go in and I'm going to study hard and I'm just going to be able to get through this two years, pick up my MBA and then get a good job. Now, logically, on paper, that makes a lot of sense. But when it comes to the heart, when it comes to knowing that I missed some of the most formidable years of my son's life, you know, that that's something I have to live with. Uh, I've tried to make up the time, try to spend a lot of time with him now. And I am fortunate I'm in a position where I can choose my hours. We've been able to take trips around the world and I've been working to build that relationship. But to this day, I still wonder, we, we still have a pretty, you know, a little bit of a standoffish relationship. He's very quiet around me. He's more open to his mom. And is it because I didn't spend this time around him when he was younger. You know, I'm not going to regret this going forward. I am going to continue. We just took a trip to Austin, Texas, went to the F1. Awesome. But I do these things and I'm trying to spend more experiences with him because I realize you know, you can't make up the time with the people you care about, with the people you love. It never be the wrong decision to spend, yes, maybe take a year off of your career path or starting your business to spend time with your father who's in really bad shape. You looking back on this is going to really be the moments you're most proud of. Yes, you will lose some time. You may not your business may not grow as big as it could have if you had put in those, you know, that investment, but you invested 
in yourself, in your family, in those relationships, which I think ultimately define you as a person. Now, speaking of business, one thing I do regret is not starting my business sooner. So, I remember being a student, we were doing all these simulations. I spent a lot of time focusing in on grades, which is good. I got great grades with my MBA program, but if I just would have started on the internet, if I just would have started there a little bit earlier, I would have been so far ahead. And that's what I recommend to any student, anyone that ever says, you know what, I'm thinking about this. I'm like, stop thinking and just get started. I remember in this one class, we were doing these uh, computer simulations of these businesses we were starting and we put our heart and soul into this, ended up not getting a good grade because of some stupid glitch. It was very frustrating. Point being, as I look at all the time and energy I spent on that class, I probably could have spent it actually starting a real business because that's an amazing part in business. Whenever you take that idea and you throw it out there and you most likely get rejected, but sometimes you get that first sale. Sometimes you get somebody that's willing to pay you for that service. And that's when you realize, wow, I've got a lot of power in my hands. I've got the ability to control my fate. It's just something that took me, it took me like six months after I left business school and I got fired from my first job to actually make my first dollar. And I wish I would have invested. I started that so much sooner. All right, Jen. So now it's your turn. I want to hear from you down in the comments. What are things you regret? What is it that you wish looking back, if you could whisper in the ear of your 20 year old self or just yourself a few years ago, do this, what would it be? Guys, I want to hear from you down below. All right, Jen. So, what video to watch next? Well, how about why I stopped waking up at 5 a.m.? Seriously, for the longest time, I was an early morning riser. And then I decided, you know what? I'm going to start sleeping in. Why did I do this? The story behind it? Guys, find out here. Just, yeah, click. it's a good one. Click it. Good. Boom.